Hey guys, this is Jason Hansen, a Cardano staking pool operator and interested in Ergo because Ergo is having a great collaboration with Cardano with no Oracle pools and soon stablecoin and who knows what else in the future. Uh, this short video here is going to be about setting up a Ergo node and it's quite straightforward. So without any further ado, let's uh, get into it. All right, so you go to the release page uh, um, to download it, but there's also a guide you can uh, run from GitHub, Ergo Platform, Ergo, Wiko, Wiki, and set up a full node. And it's really straightforward. There's a video, uh, just as this video. Uh, what you need is to have Java, and you need to have a Java version 9 or later, if this is uh, when you download. So they recommend uh, 9 or 11, and you could also run the latest version, no problem. You download, install, then you have to get the uh, jar file uh, for the Ergo client, and you could also compile it, the client, or you can just run it straight from the jar file itself. And there's currently a version 4.0.0 that's for the um, testing that there's a hard fork, and we're going to move towards a uh, new uh, hash algorithm, uh, Atolicus 2, and uh, that's uh, why there's a preview version for that. Uh, currently, there's a client 3.3.0 for the Atolicus 1 hash algorithm. Uh, if you're mining and you cannot uh, mine to a pool, and it's currently very hard if you're a single staking pool, or I mean, uh, for work uh, as a single operator, it's very hard. Uh, but uh, with this hard fork, we will be able to join a pool of others working and you can share the profits. So that's going to be really interesting. Anyways, uh, you have those files, you put it in a folder. And in my case, I put it in an e colon ergo testnet. And then you make a config file. And in my case, I made a test.config. You update the directory of it. You set if you're mining or not. In this case, I'm not mining and I set it to false. And then you uh, also make the path for the wallet secret uh, storage. And in my case, it's equal to our testnet, wallet key store. And you could also pass along a string variable, such as in the example they use here, uh, whatever you fancy. And then uh, you start up the node. So let's do that. I made a bat file and the way you started the Java jar and then called the release file and then pass the parameters if it's mainnet or testnet and then pass the config with C and then the name of the config. So that's pretty straightforward. Then you start it. Um, it will give you some information about its state. Uh, if it uh, can open the wallet. Uh, if it has a secret API, you need to access that and we'll, we'll do that now uh, because when you start a node, it also makes a local host port and in this case, in this default configuration, it's in port 1953. Uh, you can then access uh, Swagger uh, UI and that's a way to uh, talk to the REST API. Uh, you should make a password for or a phrase secret phrase for this api to access it so we can do this with utils hash blake to b try it out and then we can write the secret password or phrase so let's write hello world then execute then we get a response and this is the blake to b hash for hello world so that's our secret key and to make that our secret key we just update the uh, test.config. Uh, I have actually already, uh, wait, I can do it again, no problem. Uh, yeah, do just copy it here and we, uh, use the default, uh, script. It's Sorex, then REST API and you pass the API key hash. And we can copy that. This share is from hello. We're having a different hash because we have hello world as our secret uh, word. So let's try that. And we just add it here. And then we save it like this. And now uh, we can start the node again. And we have now the API. We 
can then access the panel that's in the port 1953 and then panel so that and then you can set the api key so in our case it was hello world then save voila we can unlock it i had actually already tested this so i already made a wallet but the next step now will be initialize wallet you press that you then get a 15 uh, uh, phrase word after you set a wallet password and uh, you should write that down uh, there's currently a bug sometimes that it will actually close the window so i had to screenshot it uh, it will probably be fixed uh, for the main release but uh, i will definitely never recommend you ever save in a picture uh, your 15 secret uh, phrase for a wallet so uh, use that when uh, it's possible to undo the wallet uh, without the window closing and take your time write it down and make a physical copy not on your computer and then you have everything really to have a node uh, if you want to do mine you would just set mine true you would unlock the wallet so that you will be able to send rewards to it and that would really be all there is to it you could play around with the swagger ui like get info for example uh, status of the node let's execute that it says we have six peers uh, it says something about the parameters for a network and yeah what hate we are on and stuff like that so there's plenty to play around with hope you enjoyed this small guide and see you some other time bye